We recommend that you replace the diamond after approximately every five grinding wheels, depending on how often you change the hollow depth. The grinding wheel should be replaced if it has cracked or if only around 10 millimeters remains to the edge of the protective cover. Remove the cover, the nut, eccentric ring, flying washer, and finally the old grinding wheel. Clean all the parts. Check that the new grinding wheel is not cracked by holding the wheel on a finger and gently tapping it. Listen to the sound. This grinding wheel is good. And this is a cracked one. Move the roller and diamonds out of the way to make room for the new grinding wheel. Place the new grinding wheel on the flange. Make a mark on the grinding wheel and turn it towards 12 o'clock and put the flange washer on top. Place the balancing ring centered neutrally like the flange washer and orient it towards the 12 o'clock marker. Tighten the nut. Replace the protective cover. Start the machine and dress the grinding wheel with one of the diamonds to get a completely round, centered wheel. If the grinding wheel vibrates, you will need to adjust the balance ring. You can feel any vibrations easiest at the end of the guide arm nearest the skate holder. Position the grinding wheel's marker at 12 o'clock and shift the ring slightly towards 6 o'clock. Tighten the nut and start the machine. Take note of how much the wheel vibrates. Now go through the same procedure with the balance ring's marker towards 9 o'clock. Move as far as you did from 12 o'clock. Repeat the 6 o'clock and 3 o'clock, keeping the same eccentricity each time. If one orientation results in less vibration than the others, turn the marker in that direction. If two orientations result in the same small amount of vibration, position the marker midway between these two orientations. Finally, fasten the grinding wheel in place with the balancing ring having the same eccentricity as before. Start the machine and dress the wheel. If the grinding wheel still vibrates too much, fine-tune it as follows. Move the balancing ring incrementally towards the middle, outwards or sideways, until the vibrations have virtually ceased. Replace the cover and adjust the blade support roller so that it is as close as possible to the grinding wheel without actually touching it. You're now ready to use your SSM2 for the best sharpening results. SSM product, when skate sharpening matters.